Hi, I'm Taryn. And I'm Stella, and this is Meeple University One Round Playthrough of Crypt. In this video, we're going to take you through the play of one round of this game just to give you a flavour for how it flows. Now let's get into it. Okay, so this is our one round playthrough for Crypt. We're on the second round of the game, so we've each gathered a couple of treasures in the first round and we've each lost one die. So we only have two dice available mm -hmm. for this round. Yep, I was too greedy and I was trying to get all the cards and then lost one. Yep. And the same could be said for me. <laughs> um, I, I did attempt to... I used a couple of dice in a hope to keep them both, but I only mm -hmm. kept one. Okay, so yep. for the reveal phase in a yep. two-player game, we do two treasures face up and one face down. Okay. So I'm now the first player because you were the first player last time. Uh, oh, I've got a bone here and that's another bone. I'm going to try to get the collection for that so I can do that action. So yeah. what I'll do, I'm going to have two dice, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to try to bid, oh, I can bid six, but then it's going to be hard for me to recover the die back well I've already lose that but Taryn might want to block me from getting that as well my other option is the purple one which is I'm not I probably don't have to worry for it for now that as yet um, this one is probably okay but it looks like I'm I'm better off doing um, concentrating on that one so I'm gonna put six because I really want to and for the second one for the second dice now this is the thing if I put my second one, that's the third one, it's going to be empty. Taryn can just easily put one pip die and Taryn will automatically get it. But that's okay. I will put the... Um, I'll just put this one. It's three. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Okay. Um, so... My options, because Stella still has another chance with the lights out to claim one card, yep. I could simply lock down the three and... I mean, three is pretty good money and if I can go in big on purples, I can... Uh, yep. I can get that bonus five points at the end of the game. Or if I push Stella out of here, she'll have the chance to come back and get me on one of the two. Correct. Um, only three you can technically it's only do. a three I don't know whether it's a high value card or not so okay so what I'm going to do is go in mid-range on both of these at least make Stella work for it if she's going to take them from me so I'll pop a three here and a four here and push your four out okay I think what I'll do actually the scroll one few face down cards so you can use one to actually flip but now I thought I think that that's probably could be more valuable and none of us has got the purple one so I'm gonna actually bid on that one as four and bump turn out okay okay all right so now now we go to the collection phase yep so we can do it simultaneously, but for the spare press, we just do it one by one, starting mm. from me because I'm, you know, maybe first player. So for that one there, I'm trying to roll my dice. So I have to try to get six. Um, or, well, I'll get this card anyway, but I'll try to get six so that I can get my dice. Let's seven back. I got six. Nice, right, so lucky. I got lucky. Hooray! Uh. Now I'm having these two, which I can then use to recover one die. Now, when can I use it? I believe you can use that at any time. Okay, so I'm going to do it, use it right now. Yep. And flip it up. And I'll retrieve this die. Mm, that's a strike. This die. Thank you. And my second one is that one. So this is four. And two. So I'll lose that one. Mm. Okay, that's okay. Or you could spend your... Uh, this one to re-roll. that one to re-roll it if you wanted. I'll do that. Okay, I'll flip it also. To be rolled to... It was a four. four. Hooray! Ah, fortune <laughs> is on your side. Okay, yep. I only collect the one treasure, so I'm yep. already well behind on treasures. Mm -hmm. I need four. to roll a four or above. Success! Yay, well Hooray. done. Yep. 
So no need to, oh, that's the wrong place to put it. So no need to spend my reroll, I can hold that for later. Uh, now I get the torches. That is yours now. Thank you. And play moves to the next round. And that's one round playthrough of Crypt. We hope this video was helpful, and if you'd like to learn the rules to the game in full, you can click on the link in the description to check out our How to Play video for this game, which includes some tips and strategies direct from the game's designers, Andrew Nerger and Jeffrey Chen. And if you have any comments, questions, feedback, or you just want to say hi to us, please write in the comment sections below. And finally, if you'd like to be among the first to know what's new from Meeple University, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can click on the Meeple in the corner to do so. Helping us to monetize this channel will help us to get more equipment, time and games to bring better content for you.